Talking baseball with Brimfield Elmwood Indians head coach Steve Paxson coming off a 10-run win over Galva Williamsfield tonight, 23-4 and on this season. Uh, was just talking to one of the kids, Steve, about uh, the tradition here at Brimfield in baseball and the expectations high as always. What are the realistic expectations for uh, this 2010 Indians team? Well, you know, we, we have uh, two really good leaders at the top in Luke Staub and Ethan Westart and two um, really solid sophomores in Danny Dwyer and Nick Eunice. And, uh, uh, their leadership has been really, really good. Um, you know, as far as, as what we think we can do in the postseason, it's, you know, it's a lot based on, you know, how the other pieces fall into place. You know, uh, as of late, they've been doing really well. You know, uh, we've had a fre several freshmen, uh, Ryan Harridge, uh, Brady Westart, both of those two kids have, have really performed well. Um, lately, we're, we're doing a lot with uh, with another pitcher. Andy England had a great outing the other day against Midland, and uh, gave them one of their few losses. Um, we've got a, we've got several other kids that are sophomores that are contributing. Braden Street Matter um, and Joey Coyle behind the plate. Um, you know, it seems like we've got several kids that can swing the bat. I think we're batting 360 as a team on the year, and. Uh, um, that's not just the production from our front. Uh, a lot of it is, but we're getting uh, we're getting some co good contact from the bottom of our order as well lately. So. And a lot of power. 30 home runs now on the season. Uh, what do you think is attributed to uh, the the surge in power on this team? Well, these kids they, they spend a lot of time working at baseball. They they swing the bat, you know, all year round. Um, they 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 put in their time, you know. And baseball is one of those games where you kind of get what you put in, and uh, um, they're getting what they put in right now and uh, um, you know when you combine that with, with some talent that work ethic with some talent that's what you get um, you know we're we're uh, you know I, I would say that you know there's been some from some friendly hitting days out there but at the same time um, you know with Staub um, most of his home runs have been no doubters and uh, and Eunice has really put the charge into some I'm, the one I'm most surprised about is the Dwyer kid He's not real big in stature, but boy, he creates a lot of bat speed. And I think the work that he's done um, in the last year, strength-wise, um, swinging the bat an awful lot has just really paid off for him. So, how has the pitching come around for this team? Well, it, very good. It was it was kind of one of those things I panicked about at the beginning of the year, but I tell you, we're, we're throwing strikes and uh, we're making our defense play behind us. And uh, you know, at the beginning of the year, we we dropped three games against some some pretty quality. Um, teams and uh, it was uh, pitching and defense at that point that kind of um, but you know when we get a kid like Luke Staub on the mound that gives us a chance to win every time out we, we feel like if we can score four or five runs um, we can beat just about anybody you know and uh, especially when we're catching the ball behind him I think we've made we've made one error in the last and you know on an average in the last five six games and uh, when we start playing and catching the ball like that behind Luke, then we can really uh, be special. And the same thing goes for other kids. You know, uh, Andrew England just you know he, he doesn't overpower you; just throws strikes. Um, you know, and Ethan's had a couple good outings here and there. And uh, you know, when when we've got guys that are throwing strikes, our, our defense really plays well. And uh, um, you know, they kind of go hand in hand. So, what have been some of the the key wins on this season for Brimfield? Well, you know, we. Uh, we started out the year and uh, um, we played some really good teams, very competitive. You know, we, we took we took uh, two three-run leads in the seventh against Moline and McChesney Park Harlem and lost them both. Uh, defensive woes at that point in the year. We had Limestone down two to nothing through five and uh, lost that one six to five. You know, and those are some some pretty quality baseball teams. And then we started getting things done a little bit better and uh, we knocked off Rova. Uh, I think it was last week. Uh, we beat them four to two, and they had their ace on the mound. We had ours, and we beat them. Um, we beat a, a good Midland team here. Um, we ten run them uh, Monday with with one of their top kids on the mound too. And uh, um, uh, I'm trying to think, we uh, we've had we've played 26 games now. It's trying to hard to, to remember all of them through there. But uh, uh, we're we're in the heat of our conference schedule right now, so. Um, you know, we're just hoping to, to piece things together and, and try to finish strong with that right now. So, And what else is on the schedule here in the, the final three weeks of the season? Well, because we've played 26, normally we don't get this many games in. We normally get some other teams that we don't normally see, and we, we kind of schedule them in. But uh, we got all those games in this year. We only had two rain dates. So um, 
we're, we're looking at, at basically eight games left to play. We've got two against North Fulton on Saturday, and uh, I'm sure we'll see the Shaw kid and, and Quick for them. They're one and twos. And then, uh, and then we don't play again the following week until the next Saturday. And then we have the Heights, and then we finish up with Monmouth, and I think they're a, they're a decent ball club. Um, and then we see uh, um, South Fulton still in the conference. So, you know, we've got we've got some work left to do. Um, but, you know, the good thing about it is I get a chance now to go see some other teams maybe that we play in the postseason that we haven't seen yet. And, uh, and, uh, and it also allows our arms to rest and, and try to get ready to, for the postseason as well.